I met up with a Stranger Things actor. I know this is random, but uh, me and him have been talking for months now and trying to figure out a, a time and a place to meet up. But yeah, I got to talk to him. And if you're interested in like acting or Stranger Things or how the hell do you get onto a Netflix show? I asked him to go over that in this interview. He was super chill and he just gave out some like really valuable advice. And I, I wanted to share it. Just basically the raw uncut interview on this secret channel between us. Don't, don't tell anyone about this, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't and uh, subscribe to the main one and give me money. <laughs> Uh, the, the video is gonna play now. You were in Stranger Things, right? Well, it was one episode or two? Five. Five. Yeah, technically, like, technically. The weird thing about episode credits is technically I'm credited for five episodes, but two of those episodes are flashbacks of the three episodes I'm mostly mm -hmm. in, but they still pay you for all five episodes. That's great. So I was not complaining. Was there a lot of uh, a lot of scenes that didn't make it or was most of it that you shot, most of it made it to the show? Pretty much everything wow. that we shot made it, but uh, I mean, a big portion of that is two things. One, the Duffers are technical genius. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what they need and everything in the script matters. Everything in the script has a point of being there. So there's nothing that's non-essential that makes it in the final script. But two, my entire character sets up all of Vecna's backstory. Yeah. So I knew no matter what, it was essential to move forward the plot. So all my scenes were going to be relatively untouched. Dude, being with you now too, it is crazy. Like I, I know very little about acting, but I just know you're a great actor. Because you're you. like the nicest guy in real life. <laughs> And in the show, I remember like your presence. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, yeah. this guy is terrifying. Was it hard for you to get into that mode or were you just like, here we go? No, I think the cool thing about that role in particular, I was able to approach it while falling in love with the character. And so, yes, he's a terrible person, right? And yeah. there are so many bad decisions he makes, but I was able to connect to the core element of he just, he needs approval of his dad. He's basically an orphan. He's only defined by his strength. What does that look like? And so I was able to connect to a very human element in him. And then I, I know how to disassociate. So then I would just disassociate, let the darkness take over. And because it was my first role, I felt like I had something to prove, just like two. So I feel like it was the perfect point in my life to take on such a dark character, because that's just, that's where I was. And now it's great hearing people say, you're so much nicer than I would have thought. Yeah. And when I was on set, it was funny because they were all telling me, it's like a demon takes over your body. <laughs> you're laughing and hanging out with everybody. And then all of a sudden action, and we think you're a serial killer. So <laughs> it, it's just disassociation. How did things go right after that? Like you shoot this thing. I'm assuming you get invited to like the premiere. You didn't no, get invited to the premiere? No, no? I, uh, because my entire character was a spoiler in of itself, I wasn't announced that I was even in the show until the day it dropped. So wow. we weren't allowed to publicly talk about it. We weren't allowed to do anything in terms of promo or do any of the press junket stuff. Pretty much I wrapped the show, had an existential crisis, went back to Texas and tried to figure out what to do with myself. It That's was very great. surreal. It felt like a fever dream. It's like you go to summer camp, you have the best experience of your life, and then you're back to the real world in a way. Wow. Did you know, like, once you got back, you're like, okay, here we go. Like, I gotta, I gotta, like, double down on this acting thing? In a way, it was really weird timing because I became the general manager of a wedding venue what? a week before I booked the role. So while oh. I was on set, I was taking calls, I was booking appointments to have potential brides and grooms view the space with our tour manager. And when I got back, it was like playing catch up on everything I missed out on. And so yes, in some ways I was trying to double down, but I was also trying to juggle that with my new position of general manager because you become general manager of a company and then you go away for two and a half months. Not the best start to your <laughs> tenure as a general manager. So it was very much so this like weird game of catch up. And then eventually I left and I was able to focus full time on acting, but then the strike happened. And yeah. then it's how do I handle that? And yeah, it, it was a it was an interesting time. But now you have a whole YouTube channel as well, right? I do, yes. How is that? How, how is balancing acting with YouTube? I tried it for a little bit. I, I gave up. <laughs> well, if you ever want to learn, hit me up. I will I'll teach you. Um, Dude, I would love to. I, I, I took some acting classes, and I will say it was a surreal experience. It was really, really cool. Because uh, everything I thought I knew about acting, I was like unlearning. And I was like, wow, this is nothing like I thought of. At least
least my acting coach was always like, just do nothing. <laughs> like, yeah. you'll, you'll get it, <laughs> right? I was like, what do you mean do nothing, man? I was like, do nothing. I was like, okay. And uh, I did it because I was doing a Willy Wonka video at the time. So I got to like pretend to play him. And that was a completely different experience too. I'm sure. he's like, this guy is goofy. Like, you got to get into this yeah. mindset. And I was like, like I, I started seeing why people like it. I became in the spam of only two days. It was like, first day you don't wear anything and you like whatever. And then the second day. You don't day, wear anything. No, no, sorry, sorry, You're sorry. You're just nude. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you wear, you wear like your normal clothes, whatever. Yeah. And you like read the script. And the second day you have the script in your head and then you wear like the Willy Wonka stuff. It's like a character developing mm. class or some shit. And it was absolutely insane. Cause I was like, whoa, I can see why people like it so much. I started falling in love with fucking Willy Wonka out of all people, bro. I was like, yeah. I can understand this dude. He just, yeah. has, he just wants to sell chocolate. You just bring happiness to everybody. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, I mean, now you're doing YouTube and acting. How's that journey been? And, and do you like one more than the other? Well, it's, it's interesting because I mainly started YouTube up because the industry has been absolute chaos recently. I recently talked to my agent. This is probably the slowest time in the entire history of the film industry. At least it's up there. And so I haven't really been auditions. And as all actors do when they're not on set, when they're not actively auditioning, I started losing my mind a bit because I was completely reliant on casting directors giving me auditions to do the thing I love. And so YouTube really came from, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of giving all of the power to people outside of myself to do the thing I love. YouTube's an easy way to do the thing I love. The video that I'm putting you on, it's gonna sound absolutely insane. It's a lot of plot twists, but the biggest thing is basically, do you have any pool water? Do you have any pool water by any chance? Pool water? I can't say that I do. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll find a way to get you some pool water. Okay. It's a pool water video. Long story. Like, it's a long story. Well, you'll, you'll see. Interesting. Okay. But I'm going to upload this entire interview on my second channel. That way, also, people like get to see the full scoop and your story. And also, see what you're doing now, which is like teaching people how to act. That is very full circle. And that is really cool. And it's interesting because one thing that I recently realized is when I was growing up, I spent so much time trying to make YouTube work. Because that was before I even knew what acting was. That was something I thought. Oh, I could be good at doing that one day. And it is a full circle moment because what I realized is I had to go on this whole acting journey to be equipped with the skills I needed to actually make YouTube successful. So ironically, YouTube is the only reason I got into acting and I needed to learn acting to come back years later to actually make the videos that would become what the channel is today. And I, I don't know where that's going to go. I'm open to it being what it is. But yeah, what you said where it's this really cool full circle thing, I, yeah, I resonate to. Dude, I think it's going to go I mean, right now you're killing it. I think you just gotta like, I mean, YouTube's like one of those things where you just gotta keep going. One yeah. video changes everything. I mean, you've seen it kind yeah. of. So I wish you nothing but the best. I think I think you're, you're a really cool guy and like what you're doing you. is like really cool. And uh, I'm gonna put you in a pool water video. <laughs> Don't mind that, but it's gonna come full circle. I actually yeah. just, I was in the, visiting uh, Stranger Things. They're filming right now. So I went to uh, some of their new locations and stuff. Yeah. It was really crazy. Did they ever tell you like, hey, you're gonna be back for a certain season? Or did you ever think that that was the possibility at a certain point or no? All I will say is is I cannot confirm or deny. Oh. Bro, just blew my mind. <laughs> I mean, I would say the same thing if it was a yes or a no. Okay, okay, I will okay. Say that. okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's awesome, okay. I don't want to get Stranger Things marketing upset with me for no, confirming no, no, or denying no, anything. One final question to close it out. Where can they find you? Just on YouTube or Instagram, honestly, you could technically find me on TikTok, but I pretty much never post there. I've <laughs> abandoned it. TikTok's an interesting but platform. It, very interesting. You'll <laughs> post something that gets a lot of views and then right after 200 views. And yeah. you're just like, whoa, so followers don't mean anything on TikTok, uh, no, really. Like, TikTok's a uh, joke. I love it. <laughs> but basically, yeah, Instagram and YouTube are the only real places I habitate, whatever the word is. Yeah, we could make a Wednesday video on my channel someday. Dude, let me know. I've auditioned for Wednesday two times for roles I could publicly talk about and one time for a role I can't wow. talk about. So we could do something Wednesday themed at some point. Dude, I would be very down. If you ever, yeah, if you ever, need, also too, bro, if you ever need help with any YouTube stuff, yeah. I mean, I'm so involved in this world. I love it. So like, hit me up or uh, I have a bunch of friends as well. So just hit me up anytime. Dude, Sure. Dude, it was a pleasure meeting Dude, you. Yes. Thank you, you so much. Best of luck with everything. Dude, yeah, yeah. you too.